Welcome to Altendorf. My name is Markus Ottemeyer. I'm the product manager of Altendorf. And now I would like to explain you the new product from Altendorf, the handguard. Our certificated system is worldwide the first and only safety assistant system for sliding table saws. We have four different models handguards, depending on if you want to have a one-way tilt machine or a two-way tilt machine. All handguard machines are based on an F45, but they come with a different design. So in the front you have a nice carbon design with an LED strip. You also have an LED strip over the upper guard with some functions I will explain later. And you have some design strips left and right from the Elmo control. All handguards have the Elmo control because it's our hugest screen and we use these for a lot of advices for the handguard. What you can see right now is inside of the machine. This is the Vario drive motor we have in standard on the handguard machine. That means you can choose between a 5 kW and 7.5 kW motor in standard. Also, you can have the three-speed motor for this. All the other options you know from the F45, like the vacuum table or what you like, you can have on the handguard machine too. So you can configure the machine how you need it. The handguard is made out of two proof technologies. One of these technologies is how we look on the surface of the working area and how we detect a hand. This is made mainly by the AI software, but also by two cameras. We have these cameras over the saw blade, so we have a camera in the front looking like a cone here on the sliding table. We have a camera on the back side looking on the machine table. Both together make a security area where we can detect a hand and where we can analyze the difference between the hand position and the saw blade. The both cameras have communication together. That means if camera one see my hand and camera two has to see the same picture. If one day maybe one camera is broken or there is dust on the lens, you get a direct reaction from handguard and that means the green light is not coming, so you are not allowed to cut. After 60 minutes you get an advice here on the control that something happens with the system. So Altendorf makes this handguard system redundant. The areas the cameras can see something is 1.3 by 1.5 meter. This zone we build different zones of danger. So how we communicate these to the employer, we do this about this LED strip over the upper guard. So we are able to show this strip in different colors and you will see, depending on where is the position of the hand, it will show a different color. If I switch on the machine, the first color you will see is yellow. That means handguard is activated, but I don't see any hand. I put my hand under the camera, the strip gets green. That means, okay, I detect a hand. The next zone is near to the saw blade and it's orange. That's a dangerous situation, but it's not too dangerous. And if I go to the saw blade, it gets red and the saw blade is triggered down. There are two reasons. So one is if I hold my hands into the red zone, the other reason can be you have a fast movement to the saw blade. So if you are slipping, falling and do some fast action around the saw blade, this we can protect too by triggering down the saw blade. So a regular working speed is 0.4 meters per second. If you are slipping, if you are falling, we are talking about 2 meters per second. And handcart can also protect these. So it's a preventive system and if you have your hand into the direction of the saw blade, handguard can trigger down the saw blade every time to the right time. So you are every time protected with the handguard. The second technology of handguard is how we bend the danger. So for this we have a ball screw spindle and a servo motor into the hive adjustment of this handguard machine. You know this technology from CNC routing or drilling machines and we use these for the hive adjustment and also for the handcart technology. Why we do this? You can drive with the ball screw spindle really quick and you are controlled all the time. So the aggregate is holded by the ball screw spindle and driven by the servo motor. 
We start when we see the danger, we drive fast and we stop it before it hits some points. The longevity of the system is coming from the ball screw spindle and the servo drive motor. So we drive gentle down, we can go quick, but we don't hit the ground. We don't throw the whole aggregate. Also the material, you don't have any quality issues if you are triggering down into the material. Now I would like to show you the whole system with the workpiece on the machine. For this I switch the machine on, I hold the workpiece on the sliding table, I pass the saw blade and you can see I'm far away from any danger, the LED strip shows green. If I'm going a little bit nearer because I have a smaller workpiece, the LED strip shows orange, so this is the first zone where the swords tells you you are in a dangerous position, be careful. If I hold a small piece, I have my fingers under the guard or I'm over the saw line and I go in, the saw blade triggered down, the system had worked and hand guard protect my fingers. The dangerous situation were triggered, the system was working and the saw blade was driven down. So the high intelligence of the computer system of the handguard has the possibility to calculate different saw blade height and different speeds of different workers together to find the point when it has to trigger. So the point is not every time on the same place, sometimes it's on a different place because of the intelligence of handguard. What to do when the saw blade was triggered down? So you can see you get an advice on the control. You have to press the green button here. You come to the Elmo screen and the hive adjustment is in red, so it's not in position. You press the yellow start button and the motorized axis drives the saw blade on the same hive like you have before. So it needs no time. You can go fast back to work. Hand guard is really quick in this situation. So what happens to the safety zones when I start tilting the saw blade? I will demo this to you. I go to 45 degree, I press the yellow start button and at first you get an advice from hand guard to change the guard from the small guard to the big guard. So right now we have enough space to tilt the saw blade. I press again the yellow start button and the saw starts tilting. And right now in the moment when it starts tilting, we extend the red zone to the right. So that means in the front you have the same distance like 40 millimeters I told you before, but in the back you have right now from this point to here 300 millimeters where the red zone will work. So my hand is protected when I cut a part on that side between tilted saw blade and rip fence, my hand is detected earlier because of a huger red zone where my hand can get in fear. If you decide for a two-way tilt machine, the hands of your worker are also protected when the saw blade is tilting to the sliding table side. What to do if you have tall work pieces like cabinets or door frames? Huger than the distance between the table and the camera arm. For this, we developed the swivel away camera arm. I will show it to you. I swivel it away and you can see on the control, I get a screen where I have to give in a key. And you get a second advice. The second advice told you, you can work 60 minutes without the safety system handguard. This is right now a regular sliding table saw. The last thing you have to do is to press the green button and then we write a little protocol when you swiveled away the camera arm and you deactivate the handguard system. All materials you are cutting today at your sliding table saw, you can cut on a handguard machine. So if we are talking about plastics, aluminum or green wood, all the things are possible on the handguard machine because we are only detecting the position of the hand, we are not detecting materials. We have special handguard gloves in orange and you can work with these if it's allowed in your country. I hope you get a lot of information about our handguard, 
sliding table saw of the next generation. The intelligent camera system will support your specialists, unskilled workers and also the newcomers. HandGuard has no limits about productivity and it will automatically train your workers for a safer behavior around the sliding table saw. Your valuable workers will be protected and feel much safer.